astronomers have found a black hole jet as long as 140 Milky Way galaxies, lined up back to back. These jets, known as Porphyrian, span an incredible 23 million light years in length. While astronomers had observed large black hole jets before, nothing of this magnitude had ever been detected. The Porphyrian jets are erupting from a supermassive black hole at the heart of a galaxy about 7.5 billion light years away, which means we're seeing them as they existed when the universe was much younger. The jets that blast from the north and south pole of the black hole are so massive that they emit trillions of times the energy of the sun. To give you some perspective, if these jets were somehow closer, they could easily disrupt galaxies around them with their sheer power. These gigantic jets have been given a mythic name, Porphyrian, in reference to the giant offspring of Gaia in Greek mythology. In the myths, Porphyrian was the greatest of the giants, towering over the rest. Fittingly, this name was chosen for the largest known black hole jets in the universe. Interestingly, Porphyrian's sibling in mythology, Alcyoneus, lends his name to the next largest set of black hole jets, which were discovered in 2022 by the same team of scientists. Alcyoneus's jets span around 100 Milky Ways, but Porphyrian completely dwarfs that. So, what exactly are black hole jets, and how can something so massive even exist? Well, black holes are known for pulling in everything around them, but they don't just consume, they also eject. As material falls toward a supermassive black hole, it forms a hot, swirling disk. Some of this material doesn't get sucked in, but instead is accelerated at nearly the speed of light, shooting out in two powerful beams from the poles of the black hole. These streams, or jets, are made up of highly energized particles and can extend for millions of light years. Think of it like a giant cosmic fountain. Instead of water, this fountain is spewing plasma and energy across the universe on a scale that makes our solar system look like a grain of sand. What makes these jets truly fascinating is that they can dramatically influence their surroundings, impacting the formation of galaxies and the cosmic structures that connect them. These jets blast out enormous amounts of energy into space, enough to heat and stir up the gas in galaxies and even prevent new stars from forming. It's like a cosmic shockwave that pushes gas and dust around, sculpting entire galaxies as it passes through. Without these jets, galaxies might look completely different. Since these jets formed during a time when the universe was much younger, it's worth mentioning that back then, the cosmic web, the interconnected filaments that connect galaxies, was closer together. This means that Porphyrian jets, which formed when the universe was around 6.3 billion years old, had an even bigger reach, affecting more of the universe than jets we see today. It appears they weren't just local phenomena. They were cosmic scale events that may have impacted the entire structure of the universe. The discovery of the Porphyrian black hole jets wasn't a simple point-and-click process. Scientists revealed this megastructure through the collective efforts of multiple cutting-edge telescopes and instruments, each playing a crucial role in piecing together this cosmic mystery. The journey began with Europe's LOFAR Low Frequency Array radio telescope, which first spotted the faint signals of these massive jets. However, confirming something so enormous required more than just one tool. The team turned to the giant meter wave radio telescope, GMRT, in India, which helped further map the intricate structure of the jets with greater resolution. These observations from GMRT confirmed that what they saw was indeed a colossal pair of black hole jets extending across a vast section of the universe. But the team didn't stop there. They needed to understand more than just the structure. They also wanted to know the distance and age of these jets, as well as their role in the evolution of the universe. To do this, they used data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DESI, which was crucial in measuring the redshift, or how far away the galaxy hosting the black hole was from Earth. 
These measurements revealed that the Porphyrian jets existed when the universe was about half its current age. Finally, to get a detailed view of the black hole itself, the team utilized the W.M. Keck Observatory in Hawaii, one of the most powerful optical telescopes in the world. Keck's precise imaging capabilities allowed them to observe the host galaxy, which is about 10 times the size of the Milky Way, and to study the region surrounding the supermassive black hole at the center. Data from Keck also revealed that the supermassive black hole isn't actually in jet blasting mode. Instead, the black hole is in radiative mode, a state during which a black hole loses energy via powerful winds of particles. Black holes in these states usually actively gobble matter from their surroundings and emit energy as a result. What's surprising is that scientists didn't know that radiative mode black holes could launch such tremendously large jets and no one knows the cause behind that. Astronomers previously believed that giant jets like these were a rare phenomenon, but now we're starting to realize they might be far more widespread. And here's the kicker. What we found with Porphyrian might just be the tip of the iceberg. The LOFAR survey that uncovered this giant black hole jet has only covered about 15% of the sky. So what else is lurking out there? Astronomers believe there could be even bigger jets, even more powerful black hole systems that we haven't yet detected. The discovery of Porphyrian has opened the door to a whole new class of cosmic giants. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.